Tongai Mufandaeza barely earns enough selling flowers. He'd hoped Zimbabwe's coalition government would improve things. More than two years later, he's disillusioned. He now wants a change. At least if we have the elections, we have the one, one government, one party ruling the country. I think that thing will help, will help the nation. But after years of political violence and economic decline, some here are wary of an election now. I, I think it's a bit premature. You know, the country is still putting its feet uh, together. Yeah. Zimbabwe's power-sharing deal was signed in 2008 after a disputed election that was marred by violence, intimidation and allegations of vote rigging. President Robert Mugabe's Zanu PF party and Prime Minister Morgan Sangarai's party, MDC, reluctantly agreed to work together as one government. Mugabe's party, now tired of the forced marriage, wants elections as early as March next year. But there's still a lot of work to do. A new constitution has to be written up, a referendum held on that constitution, and only then can a general election take place. The MDC says state-sponsored violence is on the rise. They also are uncomfortable with the composition of the country's electoral commission. This was the same secretariat that was part of the rigging of the election of 2008. Uh, again, it is made up of members of ZANU-PF, card-carrying members of ZANU-PF, members of the CIO and members of the army. ZANU-PF officials don't agree. This country is fairly peaceful and the uh, investors are coming in droves to come and invest in the country because they have confidence in what is happening in the country. So to talk of violence, to talk of, it's, it's just propaganda. Some analysts believe speculation about Mugabe's health could be one reason his party is pushing for early polls. But the 87-year-old leader knows regional and international observers will only recognize this election as legitimate if he at least looks like he's trying to meet the MDC halfway. Harumatasa Al Jazeera, Harare.